look at uh, what English words, um, you know, what they mean in math, essentially. Uh, so we're going to talk about um, translating. words into symbols. Alright, I'll give you some examples here of what, um, you know, what words you might see. Let's start off with addition here. So these are some words you might see and they mean addition. Obviously, add would be one of those. Um, combine would be one. So if you see the word combine, if you see the word uh, plus, that is uh, another word that you obviously might see. Um, both or together, both together and some. Now you might see more words that are not on this list, okay? And I'll leave that up to you. Maybe you want to search some of these a little bit more on Google or or uh, whatever search engine you want to choose. But these are some ones that uh, I'm going to give you here. Let's get the same idea with subtract. Subtract is um, decreased by or decreased from. Either way, um, you might see that. Minus is another word that you might see. Left over to remove. Um, how about take away? Alright, so there's a subtract. Or what about multiplication? Alright, one of the um, um, more common words you might see is product. You might see times. parts. Quotient. Out of and split. Alright, so I'll leave uh, you to, to find more if need be, but those are some words that we can do here. Now the reason we want to talk about those is because we're going to be translating the sentences into one-step equations. So be careful here. Equation, that means there's going to be an equal sign there. Translate the sentence into an equation. So 11 more than Chrissy's score is 69. Now one other thing I want to talk about is that word is. Is means equal sign. Okay, so anytime you see that, uh, we're going to put that equal sign here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of divide this up into the right hand side and the left hand side of the word is. Okay, so on the right hand side, let's take a look at that because it's the smaller side. And it says 69. Alright, now it says 11 more than Chrissy's score. 11 more. Alright, so we're going to use the variable C here. Okay, that's what it asks us to use. Be careful, use that variable or they're going to mark it wrong. Alright, so check that. Uh, make sure that you're using the correct letter. So, 11 more than C. So you could put it. Uh, 11 more. More means what operation? Plus. So 11 plus C equals 69. Alright, take a look at this one right here. We're going to still translate it into an equation. Alright, so we have that word is, but pause this video and see what you have here. look at this here, we have the is, so there's the equal sign, I divide it up into the left and the right, the right is obviously the shorter one, so I'm going to do that one first. Now, 53 decreased by, sometimes we get in trouble here with the uh, subtraction. What I mean by that is, we need to make sure that they're in the correct order. 53 decreased by Holly's score. So 
degrees. So it's 53 decreased or 53 minus Holly's score. Sometimes the way that they order them here, depending on the words and things that they might use, it might say H minus 53. So just be careful with that, uh, making sure that you get those in the correct order. All right, let's take a look at, um, still using some words here, but now we're doing expressions. So think about it, we're not having an equal sign in our answer because it says expression. It says translate this phrase into an algebraic expression. Eight less than the product of eight and Victor's height. Use V for Victor's height. All right, so let's talk about this here. Eight less, so that means we know it's gonna be eight minus something. Now here's a good way uh, a good reminder from what I was saying is 8 less than that. So is it going to be 8 minus or something minus 8? Well, if it's 8 less than that, it has to be something minus 8. Okay? So let me erase this here. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room. And all I want to do is figure out what's going to go in front of it. It says it's 8 less than the product. So that means I'm going to have to multiply something. Product of what? Well, the product of 8 and Victor's height. Alright, so it's going to be 8V for Victor's height. 8V minus 8. 8 less than the product of 8 and Victor's height. In this case, V. Alright, so notice there's not an equal, equal sign there, um, but just an expression. All right, here's the, uh, an, another problem it looks like with Victor. Okay, so uh, pause the video here. See if you can help me see that uh, All right, now we have this here. It says translate this phrase into an algebraic expression. 18 more than twice of Victor's savings. All right, so use the variable V to represent that. Well, we've done that. We say 18 more, so that means we're going to add them together. And then it says twice of Victor's savings. So if he has $5, twice of that is 10, so we have two times the savings part. Now if you had it written in a different order, maybe you had 18 plus 2V, that would also be an acceptable answer.